Hey folks, welcome to my channel. This is Cracker321. Boom. And happy St. Patrick's Day for all who celebrated. Uh, the weather was not that great, but there were a lot of people celebrating. It's, it's good to see that. Good to see people happy. Um, today, um, I'm actually going to be reacting to... Uh, there's been a lot of... Um, different pieces of unseen art from the Batman film, but the film that Ben Affleck was going to star in and direct before that all fell apart, unfortunately. Um, I got this video from a YouTube channel called uh, CBC. I basically took the pieces that I wanted put it together, and I'm basically just going to react to it, um, but I did want to give him credit, but um, I want to react to it on my own for the subscribers and possibly other people who come by the channel. Um, some of the images you've seen before, I've done two other videos, one showing some of the unseen concept art for Ben Affleck's Batman suit, and another video showing some of the unseen art from Deathstroke's suit. Who, and the actor who was going to play Deathstroke was Joe Mag Maginello. Sorry if I'm murdering that last name. So, without further ado, I'm just going to react to it as it plays. And, um, you know... Take the information that I know and um, go from there. So let's hit play. In fact, now let's hit play. So this is um, two pieces. You see the front and back. Um, it's a beautiful suit. Very tactical. Um, like I said, this is in another video of mine that I uploaded. It was definitely made to be combat worthy. And to go against someone like Deathstroke, that's exactly what you need. Um, almost like um, biker um, protection. These were some of the belts that we're looking at now. And the belts were not extravagant. Once again, this looks like military combat belts. You don't see the bat emblem all over the place. Not cartoony. Um, beautiful pieces of work. I mean, all of it is combat ready. I mean, it just looks tactical. Like you could even jump out of a plane with this outfit and have a parachute and you'd be good to go. Without a doubt. This image I saw before, and I wasn't sure exactly what it was, and I actually um, copied some information down. This is of the costume up close, which had infrared cloaking, and it was augmented with cameras pointing outward. Literally, Ben Affleck was going to be invisible. I mean, literally, you had cameras pointing outward, and then whatever they would record, they would project back, and he was not seen. That's crazy. These are the tactical gloves. This is a beautiful picture, a close-up. Uh, you see the cowl is different. Once again, you look at this costume, you see something on the side of his arm, or I should say this side. Pieces all strapped together. It was made tactical, tight to the skin, a lot of extra protection. And from what I also um, read and heard, that Ben Affleck's The Batman was not going to focus on him being a detective as much as it was going to focus on his combat ability. And when you look at this suit, this suit is basically, we're talking about a suit that was made for anything. Combat, desert, all-terrain, 
I'm sure it was bulletproof, knife-proof to a degree, definitely fireproof. This was a very, very expensive piece of equipment. This was a piece of equipment that the character Batman designed to basically preserve his life. This was a soldier's uniform. And to see this in action, I mean, oh man. I mean, we saw Matt Reeves' interpretation of it with Robert Pattinson. And Robert Pattinson's suit was tactical, too. I never did understand what the hell were those things on his arms, because when I saw the film, I never saw him once use them, unless I'm just not paying attention. But um, it was a tactical suit. It was made to his skin. It had armor, that's for sure. I mean, this guy was basically fighting off AK-47 automatic weapons, and he was walking through it, like if you just walk through a shower. So, we do know that with these suits, they're definitely bulletproof. But for Ben Affleck's movie to literally have Batman become invisible, can you imagine the damage he could do. Literally, there were cameras focused shooting out that would somehow record what they're seeing and then be able to project that. And when it came back, it would cover him. Literally, Batman had Predator technology in his own right. And that just is mind-blowing because, okay, it's a comic book, it's a comic book character. I know all that. And I'm, I'm summoning the inner nerd in me. But at the same time, to see this on film, and this is not a cartoon, this is real life. And granted, there's a lot of CGI, but still, Imagine. And um, hopefully, if rumors are true at all, there are is talk about a miniseries starring the Batman for HBO, and that would be great. So um, that's it for me, guys and ladies. Happy St. Patty's Day again. Um, this is Cracker321. Boom. Um, you can follow me on social media. I have TikTok, Cracker321, boom. I have Instagram, forward slash Ron402513. I have Facebook, forward slash Way2712. And I have Twitter, at Crow with an E, 11700. I'm easy to find. I tell all the subscribers... Whatever video you may be watching, hit the bell icon, select always. Simple reason, I'm not getting money from it, but if you want to know when new videos are uploaded, doing that to any video you click on will notify you. If you are a visitor and you're thinking about subscribing, Again, it doesn't cost you anything. Feel free to subscribe. If you really want to see more of my work, and remember, I don't do, I cannot do everything, excuse me, on YouTube, check out my TikTok. Because what I can do on YouTube, more than likely, will be on my TikTok. And I'm very grateful for that as well. Um, have a great Friday. Have a great weekend. Stay safe. Be careful. You know how the world is today. And, um, you know, there's an old saying. When in doubt, get the hell out. If it don't feel right, don't stick around. Take care. Be safe. God bless. Peace.